If you own the Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, Pixel 9 Pro XL, or Pixel 9 Pro Fold, then I can show you how to unlock the bootloader with a simple fast boot command. But before we get into those requirements, I first need to warn you about a few things. So, you need to be aware that unlocking the bootloader of these devices will require the phone to perform a factory data reset. This means that it is in your best interest to back up all of your important data before you proceed with this guide. You should also be aware that unlocking the bootloader of the Pixel 9 series will prevent you from using some of Google's new AI features. So, if you're a fan of using some of these things, like Pixel Screenshots, the AI Weather Report, Call Notes, and Pixel Studio, they will end up breaking in one way or another after the bootloader has been unlocked. There are some mods, like Magisk Modules, that can be installed in order to bring back some of these features. But you need to remember that this is a cat and mouse game between Google and the community, meaning that Google could make a server-side update any day that ends up breaking things again, until the community is able to figure out a way to work around that change. But thankfully, you can get all of these features back by simply relocking the bootloader in the future. There are also some requirements that you need to have set up in order to unlock the Pixel 9 bootloader. You will need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your desktop or laptop PC in order to execute that unlock command. You also need to have developer mode enabled so that you can toggle the OEM unlocking feature. Now, if you aren't familiar with how any of this is done, then be sure to check the video description below to find links to dedicated guides on installing ADB and Fastboot tools and unlocking the developer mode. I'll also make sure to have those linked in the pinned comment for this video so that it is easy for everyone to find. When, when you're, you're ready, ready to begin, begin, we will need to dive into the settings application, scroll down until you find the system menu, and then scroll down again so that you can dive into the developer options menu. And this only appears after you have enabled developer mode. From this page, we're going to scroll down again until you find the OEM unlocking toggle. This toggle is going to be disabled by default, but it can be enabled with a simple tap. You're going to need to confirm that you want to allow OEM unlocking. And now that this is enabled, you can see it will allow the bootloader to be unlocked. And now we can actually get to executing that bootloader unlock command. However, it needs to be done in fast boot mode. This is done by restarting the Pixel 9 Pro and then immediately holding down the volume down button. But if you need help accessing fast boot mode, then I'll be sure to have a dedicated guide linked below as well. Now, you can go ahead and connect the smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're going to open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot files. You can see here I have the folder with ADB and Fastboot. And I bring up a Windows PowerShell by holding the shift button on the keyboard and then right clicking on an empty spot of the folder. This then gives me the open PowerShell window option, which I then select. 
if you have ADB and Fastboot++ installed, and then you can just execute the desktop command in order to bring up that command prompt. So again, I have the Pixel 9 connected to the PC with a USB cable, and then we're going to type out the command Fastboot space devices so that we can test to make sure that our phone has a connection to the PC. When we press enter, we're going to have a string of characters and numbers that identify our device along with the word fastboot. If you don't see that type of response, then you may need to install Google's USB drivers from their website. These can be found with a simple web search but let me know if you end up having trouble locating that website. When you're ready to proceed, the command we're going to execute is fastboot space flashing space unlock. And as soon as we press enter on the keyboard, our Pixel 9 will change from the fastboot mode menu over to the bootloader unlock page. So let's turn our attention back to the smartphone. And similarly to navigating through fastboot mode, we will need to use the hardware buttons in this bootloader unlock screen. So we're going to make sure that the unlock the bootloader option is highlighted. And then we're going to press the power button to select it. You'll see the screen turn black and then you'll reboot back into fastboot mode after the factory data reset has erased all of the data from our phone. At the bottom of this screen here, you'll also see that the device state has been changed to show unlocked. And that's a good way to confirm that the bootloader has indeed been unlocked. So we're going to use the volume up or volume down buttons to make sure that the start option is highlighted. And then we're going to press the power button to select it. Again, the screen will turn black. You'll boot up to this warning screen telling you that the bootloader is unlocked. And then after a minute or two, you'll boot back into the Android activation screen since all of our data has been erased. Once that activation screen appears, I'll go ahead and skip through all that. As you know, once you have booted into that activation screen, Android is booting up like it should. Just remember, this first boot back into Android is going to take a little longer than normal since all of that data has been wiped. You'll know that the bootloader is already unlocked from that unlocked state message in fastboot mode as well as that warning screen that you saw when you first boot up. But you could also go ahead and enable developer mode again, dive back into the developer options page, and then again look for that OEM unlocking toggle. When your bootloader is unlocked, this toggle is going to be grayed out, and we can't tap on this again until we go and relock the bootloader. Unlocking the bootloader is a bit of a double-edged sword. The negatives of an unlocked bootloader mean that anyone with the knowledge may be able to access your personal data if they have physical access to it. Even if they do not know your PIN, pattern, or password, they could figure out a way to access that data. It isn't easy, but if they have the technical know-how, then it is possible. But there are also benefits to unlocking the bootloader as well. I like it because it allows me to root my smartphone. Many people also recommend that you unlock the bootloader before installing an Android 
beta firmware. Since there are bugs that can brick your phone and the device needs to be unlocked if you want to recover it by manually flashing the firmware files. We can only flash over the air update files with a locked bootloader, but we cannot flash full firmware files to help recover the phone from a boot loop when the bootloader is locked. And I've seen Android phones boot loop from simple file system corruption on the NAND storage of the device. So it's important to me to be able to recover the Android operating system firmware while retaining all of my important data. But again, there are some drawbacks that you should be aware of. It seems as if rooting Android phones these days are becoming less and less appealing, but I will continue to advocate for it while helping the community gain complete access to their hardware. So let me know if you ran into any issues during this process or if you have any questions about Android in general. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Pixel 9 tips like this.